doing it before, but just reading that newspaper. But just, you know, before the kids, when my kids were really young, uh, you, if you have kids, you all know, it's as soon as they get up, your day starts. And you go from zero to 100 miles an hour because they're going. So it just gave me time to really just kind of be my to my time. I could really just ease into the day. And what happened over the last about six months ago, seven months ago, I kind of slipped back into my old pattern where I was turning on the TV and watching the news a little bit while I was reading. And just my business started falling off. And I just have, have negative thoughts coming like, oh gosh, things have slowed down. Now what am I going to do? And Perry Marshall started this 30-day challenge. It was like perfect timing. So every day he would send us an email with all these things like what Hal would do. He said, okay, you got to just start writing. What are you grateful for today? And that was just write that down. And if they don't know what it is, say, hey, you woke up. You're grateful you woke up today. So it doesn't have to be, you know, pages and pages of journaling. Just start writing something in your journal. And that kind of got me back on track. How, how, long, how long should you be spending, actually, you know, with this, with this focused quiet time, uh, you know, writing down some of the things that you're grateful for? Like, how long should we be spending? Well, like Perry and Hal say, do it as long as you can. Try to do at least an hour. Perry's saying two hours even before you even turn on your computer. But what happens, you know, we all get busy. We don't really have, you know, nobody's going to wake up at four in the morning to do all this stuff. Well, some people do. I know a guy that got up and wrote a book. He got up at four in the morning for two straight months and wrote a book in those two hours before his kids got up. But what Hal does in the Miracle Morning book, and I don't want to just focus on Hal, but he's boiled it down to you can do it in less than five minutes. So pick one thing you're going to do today with this journaling. You know, what are you grateful for? Focus on gratitude. And that goes a long way. Or just close your eyes and be still for five minutes and see, you know, drift off into whatever thoughts come to you. So just try to do a few minutes. Yeah, okay, that, that's fantastic, especially for people who may not be doing anything at the moment in the morning. And if it's, if it's, it's a small commitment, right? Just a few minutes if you take it from there and then maybe, it, maybe for you it grows or, or that works for you. But tell us, tell us, what's your typical morning routine? Okay. Well, years ago, back in the Silicon Valley days, I was, you know, getting up and going to work and working 12, 14 hours a day, six, seven days a week. And I was really stressed. So I took a meditation class. It was called the Silva Method. And it's just a simple little meditation they taught you. And what I do now is I start every morning. They call it the countdown, the three, two, one countdown. So in a couple, within 30 seconds, you can be into a meditative state. So before I get out of bed, I just lay in bed for like 15 or 20 minutes and meditate. And it's not, you know, there's no formal meditation. It's just whatever to calm your mind and just clear your thoughts before you get out of bed. And then I'll get up. I still drink one cup of coffee or two cups of coffee. Got it right here. <laughs> but I'll just, you know, some days I'll journal. Some days I'll just read some motivational material, affirmations, kind of whatever strikes me that day. I have like a tool chest of things I can do and I do whatever I feel is appropriate. 